with a surprisingly long damage drop-off distance, allowing you to still deal some damage at range, provided you're not trying to land the controller with your car. I wanna die! <laughs> Welcome to a video on how to get good at the Archaeologist, perhaps one of the most flexible variants in the game, and the variant whose main representative has to play the game looking like a fucking Microsoft PowerPoint presentation due to how shit their PC is. Let's get started. The Archaeologist is a variant of the scientist class who took part in 23 years of money laundering and scamming people for all kinds of bullshit purely to generate as much money as possible. His primary weapon of choice is a treasure trove shotgun that shoots out coins, jewelry, and occasionally golden butt plugs. The weapon fires at 125 rounds per minute and has a massive 12 ammo per clip before needing to take a 2 second reload. Each shot fired can deal a total of 30 damage with 15 from the projectile and another 15 from the spread. The projectile can also land critical hits, increasing the total damage even further to 33. However, the spread only has a 7 meter range, and the weapon does have a bit of drop off, going down to 12 damage for a normal hit, and 14.4 for a critical hit. Despite this damage drop off making you assume he plays exactly the same as most other scientists, he's actually very flexible, for whilst obviously he is best used up close, he can do a surprisingly decent amount of damage from mid to long range, especially since his damage drop off occurs over quite a long distance, and when you pair it with his massive clip size of 12, he can very easily duel enemies at most ranges. Well, provided your accuracy isn't as fucking dreadful as mine nearly 4 years ago, when I missed an entire fucking clip trying to kill a single goddamn rose. God how we've evolved from such primitive times. Also, unlike the paleontologist, whose spread is about as short as the average PVZ fan's attention span, the archaeologist actually has a fairly large spread, with it being more than twice as large. So not only can you flex your dick size, you can also flex your spread size both physically and literally. If you catch my drift, the optimal upgrade setup for the archaeologist would be the damage, reload, and health upgrades, with the damage and reload upgrades being especially important, as they raise the maximum potential damage per shot from 33 to 37.5, which allows him to easily 3 shot roses if you land both the projectile and the spread, along with allowing you to chip more health off enemies at long range, and the health upgrade, since the ammo upgrade is redundant with how large your clip already is. In terms of strengths, the archaeologist can be flexible in many situations. With his decent range damage, large clip size, and generous spread size, he is great as a variant for players who need to adapt to various situations at a moment's notice. However, because archaeologist is a jack of all trades, he generally specializes in specifically nothing, which also means that comparatively, his damage output compared to close range and long range variants is lacking. Due to his lack of special speciality in those areas, and just being in the middle ground. Thanks to this guide, you will now be a master of none, and be flexible to 70% of scenarios, only to be bent over backwards and fucked with 16 inches of every EP main's ego. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.